How do you think the collaboration between professional media makers and students strengthened the learning process? Responses by Chelsea Jones, Shafali Sujani, and Yasmina Garcia. What we learned from students was that they really valued the reciprocal exchange of knowledge that Shafali and Yasmina were just talking about um, because each party sort of brought these very specific skills into storytelling and they valued the connections that the film leads could give them. So one student said to us in a focus group, group you know, my film lead knows everybody in Toronto and now I know everybody in Toronto. And that's really the point of an intellectual partnership is to build a relationship that that can go further than whatever is happening in the experiential classroom experience. And on the opposite side, we learned from the film leads about what they valued in the students and they valued the students' technical skills, but they also valued opportunities to learn about students' lived experiences with disabilities. So in some cases, film leads and students were able to find some common ground around disability and their interest in the topic and develop sort of a stronger appreciation for critical approaches to universal design that are rooted in practices of disability community rather than in like institutional instructions or sort of government regulation. Yeah, if I could jump in as well, just to speak to Chelsea's point about the building of relationships. I mean, I feel like, you know, I developed a tremendous partnership with Yasmina and Diana. Um, we just I think it's one of the best teams I've ever worked on in terms of collaborative uh, process in my business because I think one of the, f the things that made it special was this foundational commitment to disability access and inclusion. I mean, at no point in the project did I ever have any of the sort of uncertainty or concern or feeling that, you know, I am in an environment in which my disability which has always been something that I needed to address, that I needed to advocate for, that I needed to, um, you know, deal with in terms of pushing uh, institutions to change or filling out paperwork or bringing medical forms or whatever in other institutional contexts. That was not an issue in this project. Um, and I think that something about removing that layer of strain for the person with the disability who has to constantly be negotiating everything all the time, sitting down with these two young women who are so enthusiastic, so smart, and who really brought good critical perspectives to the editing suite when we were, you know, hammering out which clip we're going to keep, what we're going to discard, how does this narrative flow work, does it make sense? I mean, it just really made for a wonderfully comfortable working environment and 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 we do have um, post-production relationships that we you know we continue to keep in touch getting into the community and knowing what are the needs of the disabled people it makes you understand better what are you doing uh, because I, I studied that before and I know the theory, but the practice is different. And for example, when we, during our project with Shefali, she was saying that I'm tired of this captioning that I cannot even read. So we know that not everyone is agreed with the standards that are for accessible media. So it was a great opportunity for us to, to have that knowledge and know for friends, for, uh, from first hand uh, what they need, what they like, what are they looking for when they are watching something. And so it was a great opportunity to do that. 